Back here at Oak Stadium, post game, your final score once again, Lafayette two and Drexel one in what was a wild final minute of this match. Uh, Lafayette led one nothing up until that final minute and then all craziness came right then and there with the equalizer for the Drexel Dragons with 24 seconds to go in the 89th minute. And then we just saw the game winner right before break. But there was a lot that happened before that in the second half as well that took place that led to all those handshakes and high fives on the Lafayette side of things. Shots were really sneaking in there. You saw the first goal right there. Kitramilidis again the first goal. And the save there by Sutton. Just got to give him enough credit tonight. The senior has done a tremendous job in front of the home crowd this evening. And the Lafayette really had control those first few minutes of the game and they just took advantage got the first goal to break the scoreless tie then it came down to the final minute you kept seeing Drexel kept pounding pounding and pounding at this Lafayette defense and it was all that back line we saw Hazel in the first half do a tremendous job here in the second half Sutton no matter what came their way anybody was making a stop that one off the crossbar kicked away that was a good look after they had three corner kicks in a short span there for the Dragons, and that's the one that they snuck in. Joey Martini, his first goal of the season, and then with one second left after the red card, it's Hueller, Marcos Kitramilidis, the game winner, number two of the night, and he gets celebrated in the corner as Lafayette gives the home fans something to go home happy about here. Final stats this evening, shots equal at 11 on goal. Lafayette, very efficient. Seven of their 11 shots were on net. Corners, eight for Drexel. I told you they had three, four right there. They were racking them up towards the end of the game. Just one for Lafayette, no problem for the Leopards. And you see the saves there, five to two on that final tally. Martini, the lone goal scorer for the Dragons we mentioned. And Marcos getting those two goals there as well. Sanders got the red card, and that was the decisive play right there coming out with the collision. Got the red card after the consultation between the officials. That brought in the backup goalkeeper, Kopsichilis, cold off the bench. He deflected that shot from Kitramilis, but not enough to keep it out of the net. And Hale Lombard, three shots on goal. Lombard did a nice job today. One of the this evening's starters, a junior forward from Florida. And just the final individual leaders here today from this game. Just a tremendous contest, especially that final minute. You couldn't ask for much more. Lafayette men's soccer back in the fall, back at Oak Stadium and in front of fans, and it was something to cheer about. The Leopards improved to 1-1 one and one overall this season. They'll open the month of September with their next game, September 3rd, right here at Oak Stadium against Mount St. Mary's. That'll be a 7 p.m. start. I want to thank you all for tuning in this evening and making us part of your Monday evening plans. From all of us here at Lafayette College, I'm Tyler Trumbauer. We're once again your final score, 2-1 to one, Lafayette wins. You've been watching Lafayette Men's Soccer on ESPN.